gentleman up here, my colleague, the congressman from Colorado. He is the future. He is our assistant Democratic leader that will become our assistant to the speaker in the United States House of Representatives. Congressman Joe Nadeau. It is difficult, if not impossible, to follow our chairwoman emeritus, who spoke with such clarity of conviction about the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. It's impossible to follow Chairman Horsford and Chairman Meeks, but I will try. I am filled today with a sense of gratitude and pride. Maya Angelou once said that people may forget what you did, they may forget what you said, They'll never forget how you made them feel. President Biden did a lot during his consequential term in office, the most significant policy achievements since the great society of the 1960s. He said a lot, powerful articulations of the work we must do to protect our democracy. But what I think about today is how he made us feel. Every single American that we mattered, that we mattered to him, that we mattered to each other. I'm filled with a sense of pride and gratitude for the president's decision making, for his leadership and the wisdom that he displayed in selecting an incredibly exceptional woman to be his vice president and now ultimately to be our next president of the United States. It is fitting at a time of great euphoria here for the Black Caucus that we also find ourselves in mourning. Yesterday we honored our dearly departed colleague, our beloved friend, Judge Sheila Jackson Lee from the great state of Texas. And as we gathered on the floor, Representative Mufume was reminding us that we stand on the shoulders of the giants who came before. And that Sheila Jackson Lee had taken that baton from Barbara Jordan and carried it forward. And I imagine she's looking down today with great pride, great pride in the president and in the next president of the United States. I will say just one word about Kamala Harris. You heard this from Chairwoman Emeritus Beatty, from Chair Horsford, from Chairman Meeks. It bears repeating. She is the most experienced candidate for president of the United States yes. in a quarter century. Yes. She served as attorney general. She served as a county prosecutor. She served as a United States senator. And she has served for the better part of the last four years as vice president of the United States. Her achievements will stand the test of time. And I cannot wait, I cannot wait to Chairwoman Emeritus Beatty's point to hold my daughter's hand, who's five years old, on January 20th and see this incredibly talented black woman become President of the United States of America. It is a moment that we will work towards and secure over the course of these next 105 days because we know everything is on the line. If we do our job, we will make that dream come true. That's right. Let them know, and a key component of that dream, because when Vice President Harris becomes President Harris, she's going to need governing partners. That's right. We know she's going to have a Democratic majority led by Speaker Hakeem Jeffries in the U.S. House of Representatives, but the Senate matters too. That's right. And she will have a new governing partner in the United States Senate, someone whom she knows well someone she trusts, someone who is a trailblazer in her own right, the first black woman to be the next U.S. Senator from the great state of Delaware, Lisa Blunt Rochester.